was a blast. Save Malarchuk. He rolls it through. Malarchuk the stop. Deeks his way in on Malarchuk. Fakes and Clint stopped it. Clint Malarchuk played 338 games in the NHL, but he's remembered for one. Hard load to the corner of the fashion. Oh, wow. That is the... Oh, God. Oh, please take the camera off and don't even bring it over there. Throat slashed, blood gushing. Malarchuk nearly died on the ice in what's still considered the most gruesome injury in the history of sports. He received no counseling and was back on the ice just 10 days later. I am in a, in a hurry to get back. I want to get the pads on and, and get back in there because I think the longer you wait, the, lo the tougher it is mentally anyways. And... But he would pay a price in the long run. The mental illnesses he hid all his life began to spiral out of control. Living on a horse ranch in Nevada, he put a bullet through his head. He survived and got the help he needed and hopes his story can pave the way for others. He's detailed his journey in the memoir, The Crazy Game. I sat down with him during a visit to Toronto. Was it hard to write about the, uh, the tough times? It was terrible, terribly hard. It was one of the most painful things. I had to relive a lot of things and you know, I've had a lot of therapy and years of reliving this stuff and then you think you're okay, I go forward and then this project came up and it was, it was incredibly hard. Why did you want to do this? In 2008, uh, I had a, a suicide attempt where I you know, woke up in intensive care after a two month coma with a bullet still in my head. And I felt, I remember my mom flew down from Canada and, and uh, uh, we kind of just looked at each other and said, better finish that book, you know. You're here for a reason, there's a purpose. Because you grew up in a sport where you're supposed to suck it up yeah right? you're a man you're the man's man in Canada hockey you're the hero you're bulletproof you're you know where's your cape you know it's it's we're supermen to to people in Canada so that uh, that uh, big brave front that we put on sometimes um, it is just that I mean I wear a mask playing goal I think I wore a mask outside the net too so you got to a really bad place oh yeah I was I felt crazy at that at that point in my life, and um, I couldn't stop it. I was just um, spinning out of control. And the medication, I had ended up seeing a doctor. I found out later that you know I was on way too much medication. They had bumped everything up and added to it, and um, you know, and I was drinking as well. And uh, I just got to a point and, and it, you know, it wasn't like I left a note and said, you know, I can't live this way, uh, you know, or uh, I felt that way. But I didn't even know the gun was loaded. I, I, I'd been shooting rabbits and cans and targets and uh, I felt like, and it was almost like a game. I picked the gun up, put it under my chin and pulled the trigger. What yeah. happened? <laughs> it went off and, um, Fortunately, I got a thick skull. Um, the bullet still lodged in my skull. Um, and again, you know, that macho thing, I, I, I wasn't gonna get on the life flight, the helicopter. And uh, they're going, sir, you, you, have a, you have a bullet in your head. You ha you, we don't, you, right now you're conscious, but you, it could move. We don't know, you have to get on the helicopter. And I'm like, no, give me a needle and thread, sew it up, I'll be fine. And yeah, I didn't lose consciousness until they, uh, sedated me to get me on the helicopter. So, yeah. Do you ever think someone's trying to send you a message? Yeah. Uh -huh. So what's the message? Finish the book. Oh. That was the message. That was the reason I think I was saved. Um, you know, I, I, I didn't go through all these, you know, incidents and depression and, and, and I, 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 and, and to have the, the NHL and that playing in the, you know, there's a reason. I think the reason I played in the NHL is to give me the avenue. It makes you, whether it's right or wrong, society, like, and, and especially in Canada with hockey, it makes you all of a sudden somebody incredible. And then to have all these problems in my life and overcome them, there's, what's the reason? Well, I think it's because you're given a certain amount of fame that gives you an avenue to reach out to people and do interviews and, and to write a book so you and want to, to save tell your other story. People? Yeah, you want to save people, oh, for really? sure, for absolutely. 
I mean, when you, you, even now that the book is released, I'm getting a lot of emails and people reaching out. And, you know, it happened before, just doing before the book was out, but now people are really reaching out and, and thanking me and I'm inspiring them to get help or their husband or their spouse or their sibling or their, yeah, it's just, it's, uh, you know, there's a stigma attached to mental illness and it, it, it's, it's not a good one, you know. If, if you have cancer and you have to go for treatment, you're going to go tell your boss. If you're struggling with depression or some sort of uh, mental illness, you don't go to your boss. So what's... You, you, and you should be able to. For me, I have a chemical imbalance of the brain. I don't produce enough serotonin. If you're diabetic, you have a chemical imbalance. It's not, you know, your insulin is, is not working right. Your insulin levels are wrong. So what's the difference? Not, none, you know, different organ. Do you think a young man in the NHL now would feel less stigma coming forward with problems like this, or is it still there, that sort of macho approach? I, I you know, I, I think teams are doing, you know, we, we, most teams have a sports psychologist now, and, you know, some teams even have another uh, psych psychologist for, you know, your personal life and things like that, and that's good, and that's a step forward. Um, you know, everybody says, well, can the NHL do more for, uh, you know, players that might be struggling with this? And no, they can't. Society can. Mm -hmm. You know, we all can. And, and, and I think the NHL is doing a good job with everything they're doing. And the NHL Players Association, uh, the NHL Alumnus Association, they're all on board and trying to move forward with this. But until we really get uh, moving uh, as a society, uh, you know, and be more accepting and open about this, and I think talking about this like we are, um, it, it's, it's no different than a physical ailment, it really isn't. What's tougher, getting into the NHL or writing a book about mental oh. illness? <laughs> well, I, writing the book was one of the hardest things, if not the hardest, yeah. I would, I, you know, going through the depression, going through those, those stages of my life when I felt just like I wanted God to take me. I, I was quoted once, as, you know, you, you, God either take this away from me or, or take me. And uh, so writing the book was very difficult, but living with this, uh, and now I'm doing good, don't get, you know, I want that, but in my darkest times, that was the most difficult, Ter most terrible thing I've ever been through. I'd rather at least, I'd rather have my legs snapped in half. I can take physical pain. I, I mean, you know, being being a, a, a hockey player, a goalie, a cowboy, you know, all those things, they're, they're physical. You get hurt, you get bumped around, you break your leg or whatever, but it's nothing to the pain of, of mental illness. And anybody that has it and hears me speaking about it, they, they, they know what I'm talking about. It's hard to imagine, like if you see a guy with a broken leg, and his, his bone is sticking out of the skin. You go, ow, that hurts. In some way, we can relate to physical pain, but we all can't relate to the mental pain. So the depression was worse than having your throat slit? Way worse. Really? Way worse. You could cut, you could cut my neck over and over, and I would, I would take that a million times over mental illness. Nothing, nothing can compare. Awesome. And, and I've had both, so. You know. You know. I know. Yeah. Well, it's very brave to write about it. It's uh, it's great. Well, thank you. I I I just hope it helps, and I I know it will.